Now the laws of physics are simple and they're universal. What applies here applies everywhere else up there. You've got to be the closest thing to going into space that you can do. So you're in eight hours. We're part of a much wider ecosystem that extends way beyond the top of our atmosphere. All this order, the sun, the rotating planets, me, coalesced from a collapsing cloud of dust. <laughs> My director just said, I think it's going to come slightly earlier. It's like, no, it isn't. <laughs> Newton is usually right. We're the first generation that's been able to build machines to actually go to those planets and moons. There really is no substitute for actual exploration, for actually going somewhere, and touching it and taking pictures of it. And we found that they're more beautiful, more violent, more magnificent and fascinating than we could have possibly imagined. Saturn's moon Titan is unique because of that. That is an atmosphere. Look at that. I've rarely seen such dramatic clouds. The end of the world. And that's why I love physics. <laughs>